Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. There's a leak in the boat! Ah! Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you more than one that should. Yeah, Hollywood, well kiss me, kiss me good. Yeah, Hollywood, you know I love you So today I want to talk about a sequel to a movie that I absolutely loved a couple of years back when I went to see it in theaters. It was based around the 1973 children's classic book, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and of course I'm talking about Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Now believe it or not, this movie is, like its predecessor, loosely based around the sequel of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs the book. It was called Pickles to Pittsburgh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, and it was written back in 2000, so not so long ago. So this movie, once again, does exactly what the first one did, which is take a children's book and turn it into its own little story with a couple of references to the book with its original characters. Once again, you got the entire cast back, except for Mr. T, who was replaced by Terry Crews, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you still have Bill Hader, Anna Faris, Neil Patrick Harris, and of course this time you have a couple of new faces to the group, including the great Will Forte as the villain, and this movie, while it wasn't great, like the first one, which was very, very smart, this movie also did have a couple of those moments, but this one was a little bit more for the children, especially with the overuse of butt jokes. Not that they didn't make me laugh, I will say that they did, and the whole concept of the animals a la Jurassic Park to look like from various foods, just the names that they gave us, and the whole thing with the island, which was now basically food-based, was quite awesome and fun to watch, and it definitely had its fun moments, its, its cute moments, and in those butt jokes, there was a point in the theater where I definitely smelled something, so someone must have let something slip in the midst of while the joke was being passed, excuse the pun. So, once again, not a great movie, but very entertaining, very, very cute. If you did like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you will definitely enjoy Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too. Will there be a third one? Possibly. Because ironically, after I went to see the movie a day later, I actually took a look and found out that there was a third Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs book, which actually came out a month before the movie hit theaters. And it's called Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 3, The Planet of the Pies. So will we see a third film? Let's find out. But for now, if you like the first one, you'll definitely be able to sit through and enjoy the second one. And I am going to give Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Yeah, why not? 3 out of 4. So, that's it guys, and the question that I want to leave with you today is in regards to a very interesting thing that came out in the world of movies, Disney is actually intending on making a Mickey Mouse movie. Do you think that that's a good idea? I am the Lawn Gnome, and remember that actions speak louder than words.